Hello, visionary, and welcome to our channel. This is Raquel Reina of Raquel and Davidian Unleash Your Genius. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to read your advanced human design chart. In the advanced chart, you get to see the diet determination, the environment, perception, as well as the motivation. So I will see you on the inside. Hello, visionary. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to read the advanced chart. And I'm going to show you where to find the four radical transformations and what this is, the primary health system, also referred to as PHS, which is also known as diet and determination, the environment, the rave psychology, which includes the view, perception, and motivation. I'm also going to show you where you find the variable and the tone. In human design, there is above the surface, which is your strategy and inner authority. And then there's below or beneath the surface, which are the four radical transformations. So let's talk about how to read your advanced chart. So through this process of the four radical transformations, you begin with understanding how you digest life. Digestion also has to do with what you're eating and how you're taking food in. And we are not all designed to eat alike. So here on the left-hand side where it says design, we have the sun and the earth, and we have the color and the tone. The color here tells you your unique type of diet. The tone is going to pull the arrow either to the right or to the left. Four, five, and six are going to be to the right. Three, two, one are going to be the left. In this particular example, we have color six, tone five, to the right, which is passive. Now these arrows are also referred to as variable. We are designed to eat differently based on who we are. And again, this is an experiment, and I do have a video just on diet that I'll put in the link below. It's an experiment to see if it works for you. The next row here is environment. The environment, again, has a color and a tone. And again, the environment is going to be either active or passive based on whether this arrow is going to be to the right or to the left. The next area we have is perspective. This is also referred to as the view, your view. This is again the color and the triangle here is the tone. The top is really the heart of the four radical transformations, meaning the motivation is uncovered as you eat correctly, as you're in the right environment, as you understand how you cognitively view the world, then you align with your motivation. And the motivation is also showing you what your transference is. And many people told me what my motivation was, but no one really understood what my transference was. And that was the real game changer for me, is understanding that the transference is how we usually operate. We operate as the opposite of our motivation. And understanding how the transference works with motivation is really huge. So as far as motivation and transference, these are based on the harmonics. So one is the harmonic with four, two is the harmonic with five, and three is the harmonic with six. So if your motivation is fear, then your transference is need. If your motivation is hope, your transference is guilt. 
if it's desire, it's innocence, and then it, it, it flips. So then if you're innocence, then the transference is desire. If your motivation is guilt, then your transference is hope. And if your motivation is near need, your transference is fear. When we're looking at the arrows, which is the variable, it takes the diet, the environment, the perception, and the motivation and pushes them into a little bit of a different way of being. So if you are left, you're more strategic. If you're right, you're more receptive. And then there's also these keynotes around the variable. And in this particular example that I'm looking at here, this has to do with the motivation color. So what we just went over, the fear, the hope, desire, need, guilt, and innocence. And then the left and the right, um, these are the keynotes for the left variable and the right variable. Um, the observer, the observed, the conditioner, conditioned, the master, the novice, the leader, the follower, the theist, the, the anti-theist, the communalist, and the separatist. And whether you're left or right, you are probably going to be leaning. So if you are with a right variable, you're going to lean more towards the left when you're learning this stuff, and you're going to be needing to move more towards the right. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the Maya mechanics and look at a particular chart, and I'll show you how to read this chart looking at the advanced properties. So in this particular example, here we're going to see the six diet to the right, the feeling, the five is tone feeling. Where you're going to see that in the rave properties on the right hand side here is where it says determination indirect. So determination, which is this area over here, determination, diet, is the six is indirect and it's because of the arrow. And the indirect are basically those people who should eat at night. Now, of course, there's a lot more to that, but that's the basic is the idea of eating at night, not during the day. The cognition is the feeling, which is the tone five. And what that means is that there's a heightened feeling, a sensitivity in the body and the awareness when this person eats correctly. The next area is the environment, which is the one five. Here we have the caves. Again, this is to the right, which is artificial caves. And so basically the caves, and I will put a video on environment as well, but for the artificial caves, it, it basically means that you want to have sort of a cave-like environment. It, it's urban. Um, you know, there's a lot of different keynotes around this. My experience is that these people do best with one person in the home and they control their environment. Moving on to the perception, you'll find that over here in the rave properties under view, which is personal. And so the personal view basically is about seeing things through your own experiences, your perception. So as you view the world through your own experiences, you begin to have deeper levels of understanding, empathy, and knowing how your expertise works. So for example, when you understand through your own experiences with human design, then you're gonna have a deeper understanding of a chart. So in this particular example, this person is a projector and they're always told that they need to stop researching their own charts and research the other. They're here for the other. That's the keynote, one of the keynotes for projector. However, when we go deeper into this particular person, we go deeper into the advanced chart and we look at the view, which is personal, this person is going to learn through themselves, their own experiences, through who they are, 
and knowing themselves first. So there are a lot of complexities to human design. And once you go deeper and deeper into the rabbit hole, you learn more and more about your own uniqueness, your own individuality. And that's what this advanced chart does. And then we finally get to the motivation up on top, which is the sun earth personality on the black side here on the right hand side and in this particular example we have the color six and the tone one and the um, variable to the left so this is all about security and the motivation is innocence the transference is desire so this person really needs to learn how to step out of desire and into their innocence and the innocence innocence is really, and the safety, the security is um, the ability to show the innocent. So they need a safe place to be innocent because most of the time in the conditioning in the world, when you're vulnerable or innocent, people don't like it, they trample on it. And so in this example with the one, they need a secure environment and feel safe to expose their innocence. And because it's left, they are here to, instead of be the observer, they're here to be observed, to actually be in the innocence and allow people to learn from that example and, and being in that you know, innocence and also a keynote of that is the Buddha consciousness, which is the beingness as opposed to the agenda driven desire. So that's this advanced chart. And then also what you'll notice at the top where it says variable and the rave properties where it says PLR. This is the personality left, right. So the way to read that is you look over here where it's personality on the right hand side and you see there's one arrow left and one arrow right here. It's personality left, right. And, and then DRR is the design right, right. Yes, there are a lot. There's a whole other video on the variables. So there are a lot of combinations. Hold on, how many combinations are there on variable? <laughs> there are 16 different ways in which, you know, the four arrows can be pointing either all to the left, all to the right, or whatever the variations on that are. And yes, they do impact the cognition. They impact each one of the diet, the environment, and the perception, and the motivation. So... Um, that's where you'll see it here, though, and that's what this PLR and DRR means. In the rave properties, when you scroll down, here's where you'll find motivation, innocence, the sense, security, and the transference, desire, and that's all based here on the personality, um, color, tone, and variable. All right. I hope you've enjoyed that video. So in order to really dive into the advanced chart, it's really important to first learn the basics, understand how your strategy and inner authority works, and then the underneath the surface starts to bubble up and you can really explore the four radical transformations. Right now, we're in a time in history where I truly do believe that the most important thing you can do is understand who you are and how to operate correctly as yourself, how to make decisions based on yourself, to see where your shadows are, where your vulnerabilities are, where you may be stuck in your not self themes, where you may be running patterns of behavior from your parents, from your schooling, from your conditioning, from the news, from the social media. All of these things are integrating into people and they are becoming pawns in the manipulation. And so there's so much confusion and fear running rampant on the planet right now. The best thing that we can do is learn our human design, how to make decisions as ourself. There is a prophecy from the founder of human design about the turning of the wheel, the 2027. And as we see the shifts out on the planet, we're seeing that those things are, are really truly happening and the only way to really get, get through the confusion is to learn how your own GPS operates, to learn how your own navigational system operates in the midst of confusion. 
And so if you are wanting to navigate this time, the best thing you can do is go deeper into human design. It's just an incredibly fun tool. It's such incredibly deep intel and just such a wonderful study. So I'll put some links below. Please let me know if you have questions on your advanced chart. It's a little confusing, so I was trying to break it down so you can understand it. All right. We love your feedback. We love hearing from you. If you've gotten anything from this video, give it a like and go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We, um, we try and hear from you and create different videos based on what your needs are. So go ahead and let us know in the comments below. We're so grateful for our community. I cannot even express to you how grateful I am for all of you and all your amazing comments and feedback that you've been providing for us. Stay healthy, stay gorgeous, and unleash your genius.